Hey guys, welcome back to Holly Scoops Just Saying. I'm Heather Gardner. I'm Stephanie Gray. Okay, now we have talked about Harry Styles' new single, Signs of the Times. Mm -hmm. I have already proclaimed that I am in love. What are your thoughts? I don't think I've asked you yet. I was, okay, my honest to God, <laughs> yeah. my first thoughts was Zayn's Pillow Talk was way better. Like really? Zayn's, Zayn's coming out song, I don't forget if it was Pillow it was, Talk. Yeah, something around though. But I, I loved it so much more really? than Harry Styles' song. Really? And with Harry Styles, I was like, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to go this Rolling Stones yep. kind of vibe. And I thought it doesn't work for you. That's what I thought. I am the exact opposite. I 100% thought it was so much better than Zayn's. I did not care for Zayn's style of music. Oh. I, I'm still a big fan. I just, you know, it's not my preference. Okay. I, I preferred Harry Styles and I actually think that that crazy kind of Mick Jagger style 100% suits him. And especially after seeing him perform it on Saturday it suits Night Live. His look. But it suits him too. When I, I listen to it, but then when you see him perform it live and he, he did it on Saturday Night Live, I thought it fit just fit him so well. He's eccentric, he was moving all around. Definitely I have to a see that. Actually, it yeah. makes a difference. Bruno Mars Absolutely. performed once, and I hated the song. And then after I saw him perform it, it's I totally loved the different. song because you visualize it. So I yeah. could see that affecting yeah. my opinion. I actually just really, really liked it. I think I think I liked it because it was so far removed from like One Direction. Right. You know what I mean? And right. Zayn as well. And I think all of them have done the the four that have released music so far mm -hmm. have all been so far removed from the One Direction sound. Why have we not gotten a Louis song or a Nile? What's that? Nit no, Nile released one. Dude, Louis was, released what, one. Was it good? Did we like it? Yeah, no, this town it's really, really sweet. Was it but it's more poppy. -ish? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. it's a little more poppy. It was like acoustic, very soft and sweet. The only person who hasn't released one is Liam, and it's because he just had a baby like yeah. last week. So we're waiting on that. We'll see what that one is before we reserve our judgment here. But anyway, so Harry Styles, of course, releases brand new music. Mixed reviews. I liked it. You didn't like it. A lot of people have, however. And he had this huge interview in the Rolling Stone this week. In the Rolling Stone. Okay. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's what, really, what? He's really trying to make the mark, you know? He's but like, he's a big star. Of course he'll be in the Rolling Stone. The Rolling Stone, his song sounds like the Rolling Stones. It's too much Rolling Stones. He's like, I'm Rolling Stones now, guys. Do you get it? it Do is, you get it? <laughs> it is a bit confusing to have the Rolling Stone band or the Rolling Stone magazine, Rolling Stone's yes. band, it's very confusing. Trying to Either hard. way, it's a very, it's a very well-respected music magazine, so I understand why he's in it. Anyway, they were asking him if he felt that he felt the need to just project this this image of it for an older audience. Right. This more mature sound. Something very different from the yes. direction sound. Yes, and I absolutely am in love with what he said. I'm just gonna read word for word what he said here because it's just that, that good. Who's to say young girls who like pop music, short for popular, right, have worse musical taste than a 30 year old hipster guy? <laughs> That. That's not up to you. Music is something that's always changing. There's no goalpost. Young girls like the Beatles. You gonna tell me they're not serious? I love the Beatles. I do too. Who doesn't love the Beatles? But Comment I will, below. I will, I get, nobody. I get what he's saying at here where it's like, oh, if you like One Direction, you're not as sophisticated right. as someone who likes the Beatles. Yeah, I did, music is so different and mm -hmm. everyone has their own it's taste. It's subjective. And there is, yeah, it's totally subjective. Mm -hmm. There is no one music, Miles nope. Davis is not necessarily better than One Direction's pop songs. It's just preference. That's exactly. literally all it is. Exactly. So agreed. I like what he said about popular though, because you're, he's right there. Popular music is music for the masses. And you know what? The reason that this this article struck a chord with me so much is because my husband, my damn husband, who I just love so much, likes to make fun of me all the time because my personal musical preference is country music. And he does yeah. not understand it. Yeah, 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 you can go with him over there, all right, Stephanie? Uh, no, he does not understand. He's like, I, why? Why do you like music about pickup trucks so much? <laughs> why? It's the same three chords, it's the same. It, you know what? It just speaks to me, but he look he looks down on me. And I love how Harry Styles is like, forget it. Can I can I say yeah. one thing yeah. before we wrap really fast? <laughs> Rock music was not always considered classic Good. and cool. Yep. And the Rolling Stones, a lot of people were slamming that popular music of the time, saying that it was terrible and reckless and was mm -hmm. nothing compared to back in the day. So it's always like that. Oh, it always seems that classical exactly. older stuff is better and more substantial music. I mean, that's that's what Harry's saying here. Music is always changing. We saw that with Elvis Presley back in the day where that was way too provocative. 
Um, they certainly haven't seen Little Mix yet, have they? Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, right? Anyway, as we were saying, music is just subjective. I love what Harry said here. I hope that you like his new album because I'm actually really excited about it now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And I guess that you won't be borrowing my Carrie Underwood album then, huh? Okay, I like Carrie. That's oh, the no. one I like. Anyway. Anyway, you guys, let us know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. First of all, did you like Harry's new music? And do you like what he's saying here? Pop music is good music too? Or are you a snob like this half of the room? I here? like pop music! I'm the one who liked the Zayn Poppy song. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, she's looking down at me. I can feel the judgment. I can <laughs> feel it. Let me know in the comment section below, you guys. Subscribe to our channel. You know you want to. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.